what is good what is good we about to get in something different i ain't i ain't never heard this dude i've heard this dude one day in my life and that was when he was on saturday night live and like i was like some things he said was funny but there was a couple things he said i was like that wasn't funny at all like you know what i'm saying i was like i don't know you know what i'm saying this is a special request d millie sent it to me so hey let's go this crazy motherfucker, he told me to listen to it, so I'm going to listen to it. I've never heard this dude before, just at one time. And I don't know, I didn't think it was that funny. It was it was kind of funny, but kind of wasn't funny. But it's Bill Burr. This is how you know the N-word is coming. Shaq's five-minute funnies. Whatever the, f whatever the hell that is. Look how many views this thing got. This thing got eight million views. I ain't never seen this dude, bruh. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience. He got hair. Wasn't he bald? I'm pretty sure he was bald headed. Um, unless I'm tripping. Since last time I came down here, I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward Is social this situation. Is Shaq's right? show? I'm sitting at this bar, there's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. <laughs> that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale sign that the N-word is coming. <laughs> and it's coming hard. <laughs> He looked over his shoulder, and he said, it's coming hard. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. <laughs> Clan members high five in the background, members. like, doing the wave. Doing the wave. <laughs> the clan Just members are doing so now, the I'm wave. looking over my shoulder like, dude, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> for like this hail of black fists to come raining oh, down shit. on I'll be looking where, 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 where they at how they hear you dumb ass do stuff like that that dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking that I had nothing to do with <laughs> you don't do shit like that he just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap <laughs> trying to pass it down to the next white dude I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. Do you like to fish? Do you like Have to you fish? Have you ever fucked your sister, right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. <laughs> he said asking a couple of questions. Like, have I ever fucked my sister? A pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Your militia. <laughs> Just dive into it. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> <laughs> you know, those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their eyes are up. You just shut up! <laughs> <Play the game. laughs> you know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Oh, I love T.O. Every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind like kicking <laughs> over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! He said, he said, I didn't used to like T.O., but now I love him because every time I see him, I know this crazy fuck is going nuts. Uh, that'd be a reason I'd love that motherfucker too. But I love him just because I love him. Because I like to eat my popcorn and watch T.O. I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people Is that know, right? get attacked by animals. <laughs> uh, just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know what my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, that shit wasn't great. Hell you talking about, bruh? Oh. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Wasn't nothing about that great, motherfucker. Not, not one thing was a great about that, motherfucker. What the fuck is you talking about, dog? That great? That was one of the 
greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they, they just must be a bit. I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional athletes. It was fascinating. And I think as oh sports fans, God. we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you've gone to a game, right? Dog. You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? <laughs> If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign this damn collection? Like, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like LeBron James and the whole, oh, oh, crazy, oh, crazy bitch in the, in the, in the, in the, in the stands. And, uh, yeah. Come on now. I'm talking about LeBron James. LeBron James is like, fuck, he's like a fucking god. Like, he's the, the ridiculous. He would fucking destroy them. Like, come on, man. The fuck from around me. Like, if, if we wasn't, if we, if we wasn't in this setting, this, the, this shit that coming out of your motherfucking mouth wouldn't be coming out your motherfucking mouth, bitch. So, fuck from around me, motherfuckers. What should I think you're awesome? You get in the game, you're all drunk. You're like, you suck, buddy. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> and they're always calling them up. Come on up here. No, come on up here. <laughs> oh, oh, he came up there, but he came after the wrong motherfucker. Like when Artest went up there, that wasn't the person that threw that, right? Like, oh, uh, that was just a, that was just a whole bunch of uh, badness. But hey, uh, no, no, nobody shouldn't have threw what they threw. You know what I'm saying? I don't blame, I don't blame Ron Artest for doing what he do, well, doing what he did, but it still wasn't good. It wasn't like some great scenario where oh this is fantastic like we got we got Ron Artest running out to the into the stand ready to ready to kill some motherfuckers like cause they doing some dumb shit they did some dumb shit like you you throw you throw some beer at me like I might want to kill your ass. It's like a cartoon. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once like. <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second. He said I loved every second. He taught that dude a valuable lesson in life. That's what is that? When shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow. It's going to be in three tiers. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude. Had an angry six foot ten inch right at him. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. Right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. <laughs> he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, there's no way I could have... <laughs> God damn. That was fucking hilarious, dog. He said, hold on. Hold on, Mr. Artest. Mr. World Peace. Hold the hell on, dog. My cup is full, bruh. I didn't throw that shit at you, Doc. This is the wrong person. It was that man over there. Oh, fuck. How Still funny is that? My cup, so there's, there's no way I could have... <laughs> <laughs> he's an idiot. He said he's an idiot. Oh. No, I wasn't nothing, nothing good about that. But yeah. Run our test. Kill that. <sighs> and then that dude that was running across the court, and oh, yeah, just oh, damn. This guy said, You need to ask me some questions for this motherfucker. Like, I have a bang my system, motherfucker. You sick hillbilly motherfucker. He said, I was in Nash He said, Nashville, huh? He said, I love, I love him now. So every time I see him, I know this crazy motherfucker in Nashville losing his shit. Cause T.O. Hey, pop your popcorn. Oh, uh, but that, 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 that was good. I, 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 I like that. I like that. I, I can get on that. Like, that was funny. That was funny. He might have not been funny at, uh. On SNL, and I might have not agreed with every motherfucking thing he said. Like I was just watching that 
that Tom McDonald shit. Like, I don't gotta agree with everything dude said. That don't mean it wasn't funny. Uh, but yeah, I'll be watching. I'll be watching uh, another one of those because he sent me a couple of them. He said, "Watch these." So there you go. There, there's number one right there. And that that was funny right there. That was pretty damn funny. Like I said, I ain't never. I don't know this dude, so I can uh listen to him on here, right here. Five year olds have no excuse for being fat. I mean, I can agree with that, bro. Get up off your ass. Go do something. I, I see that right there. Um, yeah, that, that 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 was fun. That was that was good. And uh, we out of here. Until next time.